In the modern world, transportation and the spread of products have made almost any foods and drinks available all over the world, but many of the foods that we eat today originally were eaten or grown in only one part of the world. The origins of various foods are interesting. Tomatoes, for example, are originally from Americas, and so are potatoes. Both were first taken to Spain and spread from there to the rest of Europe and, eventually, the rest of the world. Today they are so common all over the world that it is difficult to imagine they were unknown outside of the Americas only 500 years ago. One food that is rapidly spreading throughout the world is the hamburger. The hamburger has many variations. The basic hamburger of the past was made of chopped of ground beef that had been fried and put between two halves of a round roll or bun. Today it may still be eaten plain or with additions. In modern fast food shops, hamburgers are sold in what seem like hundreds of variations. The cheeseburger, a hamburger fried with a slice of cheese on top, is a common variation. Today, modern hamburgers are eaten with many different additions, including lettuce, tomato, mustard, ketchup, pickles, and onions. As recently as 20 years ago, the hamburger was basic food in the United States, Canada, and some European countries, but it was not eaten in many other countries. Now, energetic business people are taking the hamburger to South America, Japan, the Middle East, and China. Hamburgers have an interesting history. They were made at one time in the German city of Hamburg, but the custom of chopping meat, cutting into small pieces, was begun by Tartars of Central Asia more than a thousand years ago. They chopped the meat of cows because the meat was tough, and they often ate the meat uncooked. Many centuries later, Russian Tartars carried the custom of eating chopped meat to Germany. Germans began to eat chopped meat also, and in the city of Hamburg, chopped meat was eaten both cooked and raw and became known as Hamburg steak. In the late 19th century, German immigrants to the United States brought this custom to the New World. By the early part of the last century, Americans were eating hamburger steaks between slices of bread and calling the sandwich hamburger. The sandwich spread quickly throughout the United States. Pasta is an Italian word for a large group of foods made from wheat flour, cut and formed into various shapes, eaten after being boiled in water, and usually combined with a sauce. Spaghetti, macaroni, and noodles are all forms of pasta, but pasta, especially in Italy, can have over 500 shapes and sizes. It is not clear where pasta originated. The usual explanation is that noodles were first made in China over 3,000 years ago. When Marco Polo, the Italian traveler, returned to Italy from China in the 1300s, he is said to have returned with the idea of making pasta. According to the story, Italians took the Chinese idea and developed it into the many forms of pasta we have today. Other historians, however, can that the Italians were eating a kind of ravioli, or a meat and vegetable filling inside a pasta shell, long before Marco Polo returned from China. So we really do not know if pasta was invented in China and carried to Italy or if it was invented in both places.